Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summit powered by Twitch. We're in the Asia region right now, and it's Vici Gaming versus Newbie. Newbie currently holding a 1-0 advantage in the best of three. Of course, the Summit just eclipsed six digits for the prize pool earlier today, thanks to your generous support. So thank you very much for those who have bought the bundle. For those who haven't, you totally should. But yeah. that being said, of course, I'm LD. I'm joined here by my main man, Gods. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, Newbie Vici Gaming... Uh Two big names in the Chinese scene as far as the Tier 1 teams go. Mm -hmm. uh, DK directly invited to the LAN Finals. We'll be seeing them in June. Uh, the other big team, IG, they down in the loser bracket. Don't know what happened to them. Dream time of uh, somehow being the uh, the next big thing in the Chinese scene. But for now, it's I, uh, IG, uh, Newbie versus Vici Gaming. We've got some oh. confusing names. <laughs> every Newbie, Newbie have three different team oh, tags here. Every and none of them are the correct team tag. Like Every time I look down, I'm like, oh, what team we... Oh, no, wrong, wrong team tag. So... Well, hopefully they'll get it. Oh, soon. here we go. We were loaded in. Uh, last Br one. Bruno loaded in. Uh, the other Bruno, Bruno Tomas, doing stats for oh. the, the Brazilian stream. Big shout out to them to be casting at such mm -hmm. crazy hours and streaming. Like you said, more every single game. The one of people streaming more are us and Starladder. Dude, Starladder have nothing every game. Although they, they're supposed <laughs> Shots to Shots fired at freaking Starladder. These guys get are... Your, come on, Volat. Get your shit together. Nomad TV. Uh, those guys on Twitch TV are working hard at all kinds of crazy hours to yes. uh, bring the uh, Portuguese audience Dota 2 coverage. So a uh, big shout out to them. Uh, Skeet's been doing the Asian coverage. We've got Bruno Tomas, uh, Team Liquid mm -hmm. uh, article writer, doing stats or slash. I think he's casting because there's no stats anymore. They Valve broke stats, so might be fixed. They might fixed fixed. the pop-ups or? Okay. Okay. We're so not sure. Sounds like maybe, the stats maybe pop-ups are broken. They also broke our team fight recap. If you're wondering where that is, uh, this patch did break it. Hopefully, we'll get a fix soon. But in Valve, well, come on, Valve. Please. Okay, we're we're ready now. We'll hop into game two. It's Vici versus Nuvi. We've gotten our our rants out of our system. Yeah, David. Now, well, we I, let's start the next round. Let's look at this Nuvi. Look at these names: LGD Zhao Wei, Tongfu Sanchek, <laughs> IG Hao, Tongfu Mu, IG ever. Banana. Come on, guys, and make a team in Dota two. Add all your players to it. It's not rocket science. Well, no, it's you, I think that it, it's not the make a team. It's what you set your name as inside the leaderboards. Like they, they're actually on the newbie team in Dota. Well, you 2. can like type in your name in, in the leaderboard. I believe like yeah, it's one of the fields. Just saying what team you belong to. You can yeah, you select the team. Like I, uh, you can select your. Which, Maybe they can't update it right now. Yeah, it's probably they they selected their team when they were on these previous teams or whatever it may be, but whatever whatever it is, it's it's wrong. Like, Volvo, please. Six. In the lobby, they're tagged up fine. Like, we got five newbie players tagged up as newbie players. I got newbie banana. How's using his stupid Mandy baby name? <laughs> Mandy baby. <laughs> he's been playing as Mandy baby lately. I don't know what he's doing. That but is it's, not a very masculine name. It's it's Hal, so I, I don't I don't know. You, you just come to expect it from Hal at times. But uh, you got Mu, Sanching, and Zhao Wait. So they're, they're tagged up as newbie in game, but then here they are, Valve saying, look, you're not newbie. Okay. We'll talk about the draft now. We've gotten all our rants out Okay. We're done, got? LD. All the rants. Yeah, I'm calm. Okay. I'm chill. Chill as a cucumber. So, cool as a cucumber. bans have come out. The main difference is that Ember was banned in the first stage last game. Not banned here. Maybe we're going to leave him in the pool along with Batrider. So, it looks like they want to trade. Uh, Ember has fallen off a bit in popularity, yeah. though with Darkseer at his side, he tends to be still a very strong early pick. And we'll see if they look to go for it. But Sankey banned this time by Vici, not by Newbie. So, Newbie on the dire side banning Lycan as well. There's some interesting adjustments here. Yeah, we're seeing all these sanking bands as well, which is kind of crazy. So, Indeed. sanking not a hero anyone wants to be up against. I do like this from newbie though. If you're gonna give away Ember, you want to get a good trade, and otherwise they would have just given away Bat for free. So, Vici will opt for mm. the Ember. Now they can take Bat plus one. Yeah, they. I think they go for the Bat Rider again. Xiao Wei played a pretty mean Bat Rider. Dude, look at Xiao Wei. New profile picture in the Tux. Oh, looking suave there. I just the noticed. Man. This is. I'm. I'm guessing that's his uh, wedding photo. So. Zhao Wei saying, look at me, I'm uh, a married man and also still captaining one of the uh, best teams in China, so... <laughs> uh, I don't know. He looks he looks good, man. The director. Yeah. Zhao Ji, uh, uh... It went according to the script. Up. What happened, man? It was part of the script, LD. That was like... It's just the the myth the mythos of Zhao Wei <laughs> lives on, even through his wedding. Yeah. Inside and outside of Dota 2, the guy knows exactly what he wants and uh, how it's going to happen. It, it can't go without a few kinks. Like, it's it's not interesting for the viewers and his friends and even for uh, whatever her name is. Zhaoji. Zhaoji, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm probably pronouncing yeah. it a bit off, but... Yeah. Vichy will go for a strong combo here. I, I would say uh, Pioneer by IG, at least they were the first team I saw run it, but they often would run the Elder Titan as a support, though you certainly can put it off lane for RTK as well, but the key is basically... Just that sleight of fist searing chains initiation, you follow up with the spirit stomp, and of course on top of that, Elder Titan hits like a, well, Ember Spirit rather, hits like a truck with the Elder Titan aura. So, very popular combination towards the end of 6.80, and 
Still being picked up here by Vici, despite some nerfs to Ember Spirit. Yeah. I think the laning stage isn't the best. Uh, Ember Spirit especially weak in the laning stage with the Searing Chains. Yeah, being forced to take two points just yeah. to get a two second disable. And Elder Titan not a good laning. Like, the off lane laning for Elder Titan is nowhere near as strong as your Centaur. Uh, your other top top tier offline is like a Batrider, so uh, if he gets zoned out, he can't go back to the jungle. He's really just going to stick it out and try to leech as much XP as possible, so... Uh, can be rough up there for the Elder Titan, depending on what kind of lane he's against. And Newbie, they've grabbed the Marana, so this is a potential safe lane farmer for Hal, potential support hero. They're pretty flexible with this Marana. Yeah, and... It's a, it's a nice pick for that versatility. We've seen Dog use this hero very successfully. I think Dog has been the most impressive out of any team with Marana, besides Sing Sing's Marana, but the thing with Sing Sing Marana is you pretty much always know it's Sing Sing mid. Envy has played it a bit recently, but at least like a month ago. It's just you see the hero, you know exactly how they're gonna use it. Yep. With Dog, it's totally an open question how they lane it, what the combinations are, and well we'll see what newbie look to do with it here. But on paper the hero can pretty yeah. much do anything. I think most of the time I've seen Newbie run it, it has been Hal playing a safe, well, not always safe lane, but Hal playing a farming that, Marana. That sounds correct. I can't recall I, seeing Banana or It's not a Marana. Banana or Sanchin hero. Like, you'll get a team like Vici Gaming, you think, yeah, FY's played quite, he played a support Marana last game. He's played a few in the past week or so, but IG's, oh, IG, Newbie supports are uh, not known for playing support Marana. <laughs> I'm glad I have someone else who's, uh, oh, man, I've... Throwing himself on the grenade for me. Thank you, gods. Based gods. I'm just trying to make everyone forget about Starlighter and think about what's what, the massacre of newbies' names I'm doing right now. Slash their team. Man, this is service. I'm living the high life here. K-pop toast is bringing me a, a, a nice cool beverage while we're getting ready to cast them. Whew. Excellent Chinese Dota. Two international four-bound teams. It's uh, We're living the life here, gods. Yeah. We really are. It's it's pretty nice. I like this Doom ban from Vici. Doom just so... I, I Doom and Bat to me are the two best heroes against Ember in the game. And, well, they only get one. Empire and Navi love to go for the Bat Doom combo when the enemy team picks Ember. Though I don't know how crucial it is to focus solely on shutting down Ember with the changes. He takes a lot longer to really hit his stride with yeah. the the sleight of fist damage being quite a bit weaker as well makes it easier to lane against him. Right. The bonus damage rather. Yeah, we'll see what newbie's plan is here. Shadow Demon uh Show him around if it's going to be the two supports can roam around. Shut down. The thing is, you can shut down whoever you want. If you want to shut down the Ember Spirit, you can. If you want to protect your safe lane farmer and try to just kill this Elder Titan in the off lane, you can. So, pretty flexible pick for them. Um, Definitely. Not really a counter. Like, normally, you think Shadow Demon is a decent counter against like your BKB carries or your like your life stealers or melee carries, but yeah. not against Ember. And even against heroes like Bat right away, you can disrupt whoever they initiate on. But Vici Gaming, Ember Spirit, Elder Titan, they, when they initiate, it's in like an AoE sense. So uh, there's no real defensive disruption capabilities. Mm. Interesting. Mm. So we'll go for a Venomancer here. One of the better supports against Bat in terms of scouting him and countering his initiation. You can disable the Blink Dagger fairly easily. Well, better than most heroes, but yeah. It's still Bat. <laughs> he still yeah, finds geez. his openings. Yeah, Bat, Bat will find out. He just goes flying over trees or whatever it may be. Hey, one minor question. Do you know if Elder Titan got changed in the last patch at all? I can't recall. His uh, stomp got low, a lower mana cost. Okay. So uh, it's a small little buff. But Normally I'm... a spell that you're not really getting into later yeah. on. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. I wonder if they run a support Elder Titan. I mean, it is an option. It also scales five damage per level. The stomp scales five damage more per level now. Okay. Okay, so, so ten more damage total. Five more magic, five more physical. Eh, pretty minor change. It's Yeah, it doesn't sound very... Okay, so yeah, as you level up, it gets more damage. But the mana cost, I think, is a big thing there. Well, the, the main thing, where you can actually use it more earlier on. And I guess with an Ember Spirit, who's going to be initi initiating with Searing Chains, you can, in theory, set up a guaranteed nice stomp, Echo Stomp, yeah. but what do you do to follow up the stomp? In practice, this game, I don't think that combo is very strong. There's no. Rage, there's Leap. There's disruption. Bat will force. So there's a lot of ways to get out of that combo. Yeah. That combo is really good when the team has immobile heroes. But life still is a, a clever pick here. This is you should have zero reliable stuns. You I can... don't really count searing chains as a no. proper stun. You can get out of the Vici game initiation. Also, if you're going to be jumping them with a Bat Rider infest, uh, you've got a nice bit of burst damage. Life still plus Bat Rider can try bring down the Ember Spirit before he gets any uh, escape spells off. So. Vici Gaming needs some answers for this magic immune lifestyle. They need some proper lockdown and disables, I feel. What a newbie go for with their last pick here. One hero I want to mention that's been ignored in the series is Centaur. I don't think he was banned in yeah. the last game or picked. He definitely wasn't picked. This game ignored as well. That's... Centaur is still very strong. We saw Dog crushing with him earlier today. We've seen a lot of the top Western teams continue to use the hero. DK still using it, so 
I'm a little team. surprised there's no Centaur bans or picks. And VG Gaming was one of the first teams to be playing Centaur. Like, back in that Sina Cup several, many months ago, like, them and DK in the Grand Finals were battling over that Centaur first pick time and time again, so... Hmm. Um, Lion's the choice here. Is there... I g either support Elder Titan or support Lion. I yeah, imagine this... it's the Lion, but you never know. Hani has played some solo mid Lion recently. I don't think Vici Gaming's no. that crazy. They're, they're no Fnatic. They haven't got they haven't got the same. They're balls not quite as, as uh, off the wall in their no. laning selections. More of a safe standard team. Yeah. Um, hmm. They get some instant disable versus life stealer. I think they needed that. They needed some lo proper lockdown as yep. well. So uh, the Lion Venom are going to be the FY Fenrir heroes for the support. They still need. What looks to be a safe lane farmer for Sila, so they've got the Ember Spirit for the mid lane, which will be... They need something that can, like, fight and just be yeah. effective in the early to mid game. I don't think they want any sort of a hard carry here. They, they'd love something like a Mirana, like, that's the kind of carry here I think they want for their farmer, but you look at Nubi, like, they've got the Mirana, they ban up the Viper, which is another kind of comparable hero. Mm. Well, I like these bans from both teams. Nubi will remove Viper, yeah, a hero that's kind of comparable to Mirana, like you said, and Storm gets removed by Vici. A hero that they had very few answers for, only the Hex, and Hex doesn't really help you against Storm when he's initiating upon you, which he so often will be. I am worried about the lot. The one concern I have is Lifestealer can just destroy most of these heroes in fights. Lion, yes. Venno, total food if he just gets off Rage before the Gale or the Hex and Pale come out. It's where Vici game, maybe with their last pick, also get a hero that can match up decently against Lifestealer. They go Chen, so okay. it will be a farming Mirana, as you, you suggested generally what we see out of Hal, yeah. and... I think a mid Marana though, maybe. Mid Marana for Moo. It's and how how on the life how life that would make yeah. That would probably make. A I've seen how mostly playing the Marana, but like with a draft like this, how it's uh, unless you like life sealer off laner, elf lane, and bat rider mid. But I don't think you want bat mid against Ember Spirits does not sound like a good idea. It's just kind of a waste as well. Yeah. Hmm. Well, they'll have two heroes that want to use the jungle this game, maybe three in the life stealer. They've already got the bat Chen there too, so the jungle will be an area of hot contest for newbie. A draft that doesn't seem o too likely to go aggressive, and I wonder if Vici look to just go into their woods right away and try and shut down this Chen. Ooh, haven't seen much Nitch's profit. profit. So Sila profit, actually. Sila profit, ooh. Safe lane farming profit. Oh, well, in theory. Uh, we'll see exactly they how they land They could swap thing. around here, but hmm, interesting. I don't see Sila on the Elder Titan, so I guess it no. would be a Sila profit. No. Uh, Elder Titan, not really a, definitely not a safe lane farming hero. Profit kind of can be. This means your supports aren't really... You, know, you don't really want to try lane the, the profit, so the supports be spending more time roaming around, stacking, pulling, and uh, just trying to get more out of the uh, the lanes elsewhere. Well, Vici, oh. to me, it's kind of a, a reversal this game, where last game I would say Nubi had way more damage. This game I would say Vici have more damage, but it's Nubi who have the better initiation and lockdown, than, especially at least until the Lion gets his blink yep. up. So it's kind of a swap in terms of drafting style. Well, we'll see uh, what what the plan's going to be here. Is, uh, it looks like Moose picked up the Batrider, so I don't like the Batrider mid here. Maybe they're going to swap this out, maybe they're going to swap lanes, but I don't think Batrider does much against Ember Spirit mid. You can't really slow him down, stop his farm. It's just like a, you kind of pressure him a little bit, but Ember Spirit, you want to be going Magic Wand in general anyways, and that's like, well, you get a free bunch. Of, like he's, He needs the extra mana boost, and that's what Batrider's going to give him with those extra charges. I mean, and the other thing is, in theory, they don't have to send the Ember mid, and it looks like RTK rushing a bottle. Maybe there's a slight chance that he goes to the mid lane. silar has gone for boots, oh. and the Ember's gone for no bottle rush. So we may see Vici just mix up the lanes oh. here on additionally. It's a pretty cute way to do it. Okay. So they'll get a lot of farm on the Ember safe lane. Tongue, or newbie, not able to do too <laughs> much to shut him down. Disruption into Arrow is nice, but you're up against the tri lane, so chances of killing the Ember quite low with these dual lanes. This could be a nice little adjustment for them, honestly. And, and this is a, an adjustment newbie won't expect, because it's like players playing in different roles. Like, Siler in the off lane, RTK mid, like, newbie are not expecting this, yeah, whereas... Yeah, not a team that are constantly... They're not like DK, where you see them swap their lanes... Or, yeah. sorry, Vici There's are not like that, where you see them swap their lanes a lot. Yeah, as for a team like newbie, like, you see Moo pick up the Bat and you're like, oh, well, Bat's actually not going off lane, because Yao doesn't really play much mid. Like, maybe you're thinking there's a chance they do that, but typically Zhao Wei's off lane, moves mid, which is the case here. So this actually helps Vici Gaming predict the lanes, while Nubi are going to be kept unawares until they... Actually, they have a ward down in the off lane, so uh, they may scout out the lane soon, but they don't know right now that Super's going to be safe lane farming. All right, gods, let's get it on. It's Vici yeah. Gaming versus Nubi. Game number two, Nubi holding that 1-0 advantage. You're watching the Summit, powered by Twitch, and here we go. Super, 
On the Ember Spirit on the Radiant side, Fenrir playing the Venomancer. That puts FY onto the Lion, and the solo mid roll will go the Argon. ROTK starting Magic Stick, expecting the Bat, which is exactly what he's getting. And then in the off lane, Silar will be playing the Nature's Prophet. Well, on the uh, Dire side, we've got Team Newbie. We've got Sancheng on the Shadow Dame. We've got Zhao Wei playing the Mirana. Mu going to be playing the solo mid Bat Rider. We've got the Chen being played by Banana. And finally, it's going to be Hao on the Safe Lane farming Lifestealer. So Boots vs. Profit against the Lifestealer alone in the safe lane, he is not going to have a fun time. It it's... Has the stout shield, shouldn't die or anything, yeah. but cannot do anything to keep Profit out of lane. Can't stop him really yes. from going for last hits. And the Boots vs. is actually really, like, I think in the past I was like, oh, you don't want the Boots vs. You kind of struggled to last hit early on without, like, the extra stats. But this is just, like, you rush your phase boots. Yeah, and rush phase boots can also shut down the enemy off lane yep. as well, you quite effectively. You farm so well with your fast phase boots. So this is going to be, uh, if he can get the first, like, it, he's... He's kind of split the creep waves up, so Silo's already got 4 CS, so he's going to have these phase boots very quickly, and that's where Hal will struggle to last hit. Yeah, I mean, I guess what else could Newbie have done in terms of their lanes? It's um, just, maybe they could run bat off lane, run a dual lane mid, and... The Chen's got double smoke, so I think his, his idea is like, look, he's going to gank Sila. I think his... Normally you think Chen maybe focuses more on ganking the mid lane, but it's an Elder Titan. You don't really care about the Elder Titan as much as you care about your safe lane farming life stealer and the enemy off lane profit. Diving him is also a wee bit risky, considering the just the amount of damage that Natural Order puts out. Yeah. So. Well, Treen scout out. They actually scout Banana in the jungle, so uh, that gives Vici Gaming good intel that he hasn't smoked up, uh, at least not yet. Checking uh, the status of the jungle for both teams. No stacks as of yet. Well, Vici Gaming running the Ember Spirit would expect a, a bit of stacking from them. Same for Newbie running Bat and Chen, so oh, we'll yeah. see if they look to stack soon. But nobody's done it yet. The the Prophet has done a decent job of slow, just annoying Banana in general and slowing him down a bit. Yeah. Um, and also he scattered out the two smokes there. So I assume he clicked him and saw that there was two smokes when he scattered him with the treants. So he'll basically uh, sound the alarms, tell IRTK, be careful these smoke ganks, and also make a mental note for himself that these smoke ganks will be coming and coming soon. He's already got his initial blades of attack. Phase boot's coming soon. And again, I still just doesn't do anything here. Yeah. Maybe if you were on the Mirana Shadow Demon there. Potentially, if you run the bat, they can look to harass and zone out the Prophet, but this combo can't do a thing. Yeah. Well, or this 1v1 can't do a thing, rather. Banana does go for a nice little single pull, which you don't often see from like a jungle chain. You think he can just j sustain the jungle himself, but Lifestyle, I think, needed the wave pulled back. Uh-oh, bottom lane. There's a gal that's connected on Shao-8. He'll eat a tree. He's got to find his way to a cliff, but the slow wow. from the poison is intense. If they can get off a hex, hex into an impale, this should be our first blood. There's no rotation yet. The Chen's making his move, but FY on the hunt. Shao-8, second first blood in as many games, it looks like. Ah, one more right click. He does salve up. He's still alive, actually. Oh, he's going to live. 8 HP ticking down, but not able to get the kill. The spirit's hunting for him. Can't quite get in range. And now potentially the turnaround comes Shao 8. Fishing for an arrow, the spirit. Not successful in the end, and he'll make his way out. Deny? You, you, this is ice, ice, ice. He denies himself to neutrals. Shao 8's like, I gotta preserve my score. Oh, he's just he gonna tango up. He almost has TP scroll gold, is, yeah. I guess, the main He's issue. actually gonna tango up. He doesn't want to leave this lane. I guess with Sanchen, yeah, he's gonna pull him some tango. So he can actually stay bottom lane, but... Phase boots of him, profit, though. Yeah. Level 4 already, oh, and now God. the fun begins. How is not going to have a good time. He's been forced to go poor man shield. Silar, well, the, the, for the time being, the phase boots are cooling down. Maybe slightly overzealous oh, here. Ch Chen showed up bottom now. He actually gets revealed now. So, uh... Oh, he should be okay. Prophet has a TP ready. He can look to join the bottom lane. Arrow's going to connect on super. The stomp follow-up is there. Test of faith is ready. It's only level one. Two hero impaled. Nicely done by FY. Now they found Sung Chung. Where's that Prophet? Not even need it. They still get the first, but they will lose super as the trade, though. Oh, no, he sounds up. He sounds up. He's going to survive. Where's the freaking Prophet? Teleport's ready. He has phase boots. Oh, he's running for his life. Silar. I'm very surprised he did not join that engagement bottom. Hey, they, they got the first blood without him, but yeah, they could have gotten they another kill on Jao Wei. At least, yeah. at least two there. Yeah, and also just had been a bit more comfortable. Like, Super was so close to going down. The poor man's shield saving his life. The salve with that half a sec, like half a second of regen saving his life. That was so damn close to Newbie getting the counter kill on Ember Spirit. So, uh, sure, Vici Gaming get first blood, but if Ember Spirit dies for it, it suddenly becomes a lot, a lot more of an even trade. Absolutely. Well, as for Vici, you have RTK in terms of farm. How's he doing? 13 in one mid, so. Doing pretty well. Moo, looking for an opening here. There is a Radiant Observer Ward spot at the top room being picked up. And we'll see RTK just play it very defensively here. Yeah. Well. Hmm. I think LGD... Uh, oh God. Newbie uh, in control. LG is Zhao Wei to the bottom lane. I don't feel like Newbie have gotten that much out of these lanes. Like, uh, Zhao Wei to the bottom, he's 
kind of struggling to get farm and CS, and this is kind of like, it started off as a dual lane, they wanted to, the, the Chen actually smoked bottom, so he didn't actually try and kill the Prophet with his smoke, he wanted to turn this offensive dual lane into a tri lane. That's just a kind of... Didn't work out. It's an okay tri lane, with disruption and arrow, but... Venno and the Lion just hit clutch stuns. FY had multiple two hero stuns and just isolated heroes, bl blow bursted them down quickly. And yep. Shadow Demon Marana Chen, if you don't get the right creeps, there's just not that much burst. Plus, Chen, Chen Chen's just level. no enchantress. That's the end of the day. Chen ain't no enchantress. Like you get yeah. to the enemy jungle, you've you've still got only one creep ever maximum, and you're stuck on that one creep, unless you find something better. But still, it's it's not like enchantress. We can have multiple creeps and be constantly flowing between. Like you can pick up a Harpy Storm, you can pick up a Mana Burn creep just because you. Get a new one whenever you can. Newbies seem very indecisive here. They thought about backstabbing the tower with the creep wave. The Prophet's backing off. Silar, he knows something's up. He's going to head towards base. Maybe a bit too far back even. Could just sit at the tier 2, but... Well, he's not getting ganked now, gods. That's for damn sure. Yep. Well... Have they been stacking at all on either mm. side? That's my ongoing question. Especially for newbie. Like, you want that Batrider getting stacks up. But Moose doing pretty well mid lane, so... It seems, uh... Especially if we get some tower call, they're pushing top with four heroes, so I think Barrow is okay without the stack, considering he's farming mid and that he's going to get some tower call if they push down this top lane. They're okay without them, but it's like you've had some, you've had heroes in the jungle like Chen that can stack two camps at once, and yep. it's a little surprising Why? they don't have a single stack to be honest. Yeah, not the end of the world by any means, but oh. it's Both teams a little bit, a little bit inefficient. Trading tier one towers. Well, newbie. Who's trading? Profit ultimate comes in and yeah. IG no hand of God. They're only level three on this Chen. <laughs> He's so underleveled after that early rotation. <laughs> oh man, tier one tower top goes down. Tier one bot gonna go down in return. Super would love the uh, last hit on this one. Anyone, I mean, even Sila, this will help him get that Midas up. So he'll take the last hit. And well, the pressure coming on the tier two as well. But TP already from RTK. This is your Look mid lane at that hero. Spirit, yeah, pushes over, folks. Just get Yikes. out. Run, run. Oh, move careful. Oh, we missed the searing chains. He he didn't use the side of fist. He just uh, that's uh that's a, normally when you see oh arrow connects on Silar shall we? Not the highest level though. Only level four. Bit reluctant to dive in on Silar here though. Stop pursuing him out. Flame break not available. No mana for that. Now the impale actually whiffing on that one. And they'll find Silar in the yeah. trees. He does TP out in time. Those early phase boots helped him so much because he just got that burst movement speed to just get himself the hell out of that away from that tier, tier two bottom tower. So uh, phase boots such a nice time to have on Nature's Prophet. Well, God's over under on how many more times you're we're gonna miss call newbie. Yeah. <laughs> I've been good uh, since the early mistake. No, you just you just called them IG. I, I laughed, but I didn't I didn't call you out. I I, I just I've been better I than you. I've been better than you this game. I don't know. I, you've gotten like four or five. You've racked them up on the IG look, calls. Man, What's the over under for us combined? Ah, uh, I I just don't want to count. That's that. If I start counting, I'm gonna be a, a sad sad. Dog. I'm gonna say. 8.5. So we're already at, what do we want to say we're at now? Like four combined? Maybe five? Yeah, I'm going under just because I, I believe in us. I believe in Team David. We're not going to mess this up. I have no faith in, in this matter. Oh, God. Take yeah. the off? <laughs> what does that mean? The under or the over? <laughs> you can't take the off, him. <laughs> you said it at 8.5, so you're going to go under or over. Ah, okay. I guess what you could do is say, like, if you start to say it but correct yourself, is that a half? Mm, okay. There you okay. go. Oh, it's the big questions keeping us up at night here at the Beyond yeah. the Summit studio. We ask the hard hitters here. I think I need more Red Bull. Not not fully fu alert and functional yet. Or maybe maybe I've had too much. That's the <laughs> yeah. other option. It goes both it's ways, It's my brains. It goes both ways. So Batrider, Blink Dagger for Newbie, picked up. You took so much pride in that. Oh, man. I would have laughed I'm so hard if you like, were very deliberate and said the wrong name. Yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. What's what's the plan here? Vici Gaming uh, going to be once again grouped to get up at this bottom lane. They haven't got Venom here. They left Venom mid so he can get some levels, some farm, get up his Arcane Boots, his mech. This is a very typical of Venom Manta drafts. He kind of struggles for levels early on. He can be like level one, level two, like five, six minutes in the game, but you send him mid, and then your mid hero comes to help out with the pushes. There's a backstab from Xiao8. Are they prepared with Sentry Wards here? Not seeing anything just yet. Arrow available. They'll let it loose. It connects on the Ember. Has a Spirit, though, but he gets lassoed. Can they burst him down? They're not really doing a good job of focusing this Ember Spirit during the fights, and he'll be absolutely fine. He's still at half HP. In fact, Silar has picked up one kill, and now disruption, but to what avail? Lasso's been used. Super. Courier comes in. One more right click. 
Oof. Not enough, they can't get the kill. They got the tier 2! The tree has finished off the tier 2 tower! What a sloppy Jesus. fight from Newbie. Oh my gosh. They they lasso the Ember, and then how is just chasing other heroes? Yeah. Shadow Demon was not just not doing anything because he's Shadow Demon and doesn't offer much. That was not a solid engage at all from Newbie. Nope. Very poorly I... coordinated. Ugh. Killing the Elder Titan, he's, he's just going to be the mech buyer for Vici Gaming. And so. he bought Buckler and Reign of Regen first. Very minimal loss. No no biggie. Uh, they get the tier 2 tower. It's two kills to one. Not not high kill, but there's a lot of action in this game, even without the kills happening. A lot of tower pressure, a lot of uh, just, I guess, both teams kind of trying to hold their towers, take fights without actually fully engaging and committing to a fight with, so, so that you actually see the kills happen. But... Um, I imagine maybe this tier 1 mid going to be the next focus of attention for Vici Gaming. Like, uh, Fenrir is, uh, I don't know, actually, he's actually not going to be going for the mech. He's going to get maybe some arcane boots into, uh, pipes kind of too expensive, so maybe just a 4 staff for the team. Maybe a straight 4 staff. Eggs rush. <laughs> Med Medallion's not a bad option, although you are on the radiant side, so there's no, like, hey, let's sneak into Roshan, but... Yeah, Medallion's alright versus Lifestealer anyway, just to help you focus him down in fights. Yeah. Combine like that with that. the Elder Titanara and... Newbie, one issue I have with their draft against Elder Titan is they don't have any... I mean, they're getting a little bit of armor here from Tranquil Boots on the Shadow Demon, but all they're going to have really is a mech. Lifestealer, not generally... Oh, he'll go armlet, I suppose, but they don't have, like, a Dragonite or a hero who's just got a ton of natural uh, plus armor that yep. negates the Elder Titan minus armor. Probably going to turn an ultimate. Jawe's going to be careful, but my FY's coming in. He's level 5. He has an impale to fall. This probably going to TP in as well. Doesn't get the impale off. He has an impale, though. He can go for the TP cancel. He'll oh! find it as well. Last second reaction by FY. Jawe oh. turning around, though. He'll drop the star fall. No. Didn't get the double that star was, fall. That was not a very nice wedding gift from FY. Oh. Meanwhile, mid. Some more action for a king out. Super will remnant his way out of here. The lasso's already been used, but at full HP, a Super will go back oh. in with a double hero. Sleight of fist. Searing chain combination. And. Makes his retreat. Veno died somewhere. Or he died mid, so Lifestealer just looks like he just dived under the T1 tower to kill the Veno. I didn't didn't catch that That's one. That's a but good trade though. Yeah. They get the they get Something. the Marana. Yeah, uh, good trade for Vici Gaming. So uh, they're up three kills to two now and I I think the b only worry Vici Gaming have right now is the fact that Super is not getting many levels. Like you think Ember Spirit, the reason you put him mid is because you need levels. And he's got a two on two build, which is like twelve minutes in the game, you really need your Ember Spirit to be at least like level eight. And he's struggling to get these levels. He needs to find a solo lane this, to find them. This also goes back to them not stacking the woods at all. Ember is a yeah. great hero to catch up in the jungle, but they haven't given him the, the opportunities to do it. Yep. And now with the Blink Dagger on Bat, he actually has to be a bit worried about getting picked off. They'll need a lasso into a fairly long-range arrow, but they can get that kill if he's not careful. Yeah, he's going for a 2-2-2 two, two, two build now, so he had 2-1-2, two, two, picked up the second point in Slide of Fist level 7. I think he's going to max Slide of Fist by level 9 is my guess, but uh, with the new changes to Searing Chains, it does affect your build a lot. You can't go for that like 1-4-4 four, four build that the Chinese players used to love doing because of the one value point you can get in the Searing Chains. Two in Searing Chains, and then I'd say max Slide of Fist Flame Guard. Yeah. Generally the most common mm. build, and you, can, you either want to go 2 or 4 in the Searing Chains. There's yep. very little point in going 1 or 3, so... At this point, I'm I'm feeling like you that we'll probably see Sleight of Fist Max. That yeah. also is going to amp up your damage the most in the fights. Yeah. Newbie have quite a bit of nuke damage to remove this Flame Guard. You could go back to the Max Flame Guard. Like at the end of the day, like you remove Flame Guard, it's still you tank out 500 magic damage, which could save your life. But yeah, either one of those two. But I would be surprised to see the yeah. Searing Chains get third, third point in Sleight of Fist. So that's probably going to be a Max Sleight of Fist now. There you go. It does do quite a bit less damage in this patch. All, it, yes. I believe it was plus 120 at level 4, and now it's plus 80 to heroes. So. Flame Guard's the most damage, like the, the best for damage output is if you're getting it off. The problem is you have to put yourself in harm's way to do Flame Guard damage, and also it can be negated, unlike Slide of Fist Searing Chains, which is more reliable. I was about to say, here comes Tong Fu, but here comes Newbie to the bottom lane. You can sabotage our bet. I, 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 I take back our bet, LD. You're, you've taken a bet which you can sabotage yourself, so. You can't do that. What do you mean? You, we have an over-under and you can just single-handedly, like... We'll, we'll, we'll do it on me then. Since I'm going under, it only counts for me. No. So you could just call them, like, whatever you want right now and we well, Tong Fu dives in. They found Sunshine here with a beautiful Slide of Fist combination. Just kidding. That wasn't Tong Fu, that was Vichy Gaming. <laughs> you, can, you, you can't even How pretend that right one. Now? How mad are you right like, now? If you mess up Newbie, it's one thing, but you messed up freaking Vichy Gaming. He's so mad. Vichy Gaming have their He's names so right, mad. LD. You're right, I'm mad. <laughs> This is an outrage! <laughs> where is I your quit. professional- Fuck it, I'm out. Where is esports rep when we need him? This That's is- bizarre, Where is folks. your professionalism, LD? This is a joke. Ugh. You're an embarrassment. Got a sense of humor. I'm demanding a refund on my summit ticket that I purchased and you did not purchase. Thanks I for the support, bro. 
I'm easy, I'm getting a refund. Easy money. I'm emailing Valve as we speak. Uh, no, there's no remake. There's just the gods disband. You can you can leave the cast now, gods. You're, we've gotten your ten dollars. That's all you're here for. All right, so back on track. Uh, we had a bit of a skirmish mid. Nothing really happened there, but now they'll find the bat right. A great initiation and. Down he goes. That steering chain's sleight of fist combination, still as good as ever for initiate. Although you do need a bit more in terms of levels. He's getting them now. Yeah. Suddenly up to 1,300 gold, and let's not forget Silar, who's casually picked up a shadow blade and is getting his own farm. Alrighty. And it shadow blade. I don't get to see too much of this on the nature's profit as of late, but he's going to TP now mid lane, and trains will be spawned, and they want this tier two tower. So Vici Gaming doing a great job of pressing towers all over the map. So. This will be their fourth tower and their second tier two as well if they can manage to find a way to get this. So that while there hasn't been many kills, Vici Gaming, it's it really feels like unrelenting pressure. At no point of Vici Gaming decided to oh, sit back and Siler. just take farm. Little bit unaware there, yeah. just tanks an arrow to the dome, but it's okay. No big. Tier two tower down. Venomancer, the plague wards kinda just zone heroes out because you don't really wanna it just gives vision as well as just kind of gets that little bit of chip damage, cancels any blink daggers, makes it really hard to engage and defend. Zhaoid almost dying to some damage. I'm not sure what that was. Profit ultimate, maybe. Yeah, super. Meanwhile, he's up to 1,900 gold. Battle Fury is honestly not that far off. And between him and a farm profit, you go in towards the mid game and the late game, and newbie lack for damage. That's my biggest concern. Not that much lockdown for Ember Spear, but most importantly, not that much damage output. Bat, mm -hmm. mediocre damage in the mid to late game. Same for Marana and Shadow Demon. Even Lifestealer on a team fight, you compare how much damage he'll do to. I hear like Ember, Elder Titan, it is not comparable. We talked about this at the beginning of the draft, how kind of the styles of the drafts had reversed, yep. and well, they're going to have to find Pickoffs with the Blink Lasso. If they're not doing that, I fear this game is just going easily in Vici's favor. I really, any Chen draft that is on the back foot losing towers and not taking towers is, you're, if you're, you're losing the game flat out. If you have a Chen and you're not taking towers while your opponents are, you, yeah. Would you rather have a Lion with a Blink right now or a Chen with a Mech? Chen's one of those heroes who shines as far as like the 10 to 20 minute mark, pushing down tier 1s and tier 2 towers. On and the getting offensive, you an advantage. like you're yep. saying, if he's in a defensive posture, What's, he is just such an a, underwhelming support he's hero. He's purely a healing hero. Like, he can heal a teammate with a mech, heal a teammate with the hand of God. Like Send them back, yeah. and that's it. He doesn't really offer too much, and he's only been involved in the one kill for, for newbie. Well, meanwhile, Silar working towards what looks to be an orchid, has picked up the quarter staff here. Smoke gank on the bottom lane, Vici Gaming. They're gonna jump, shall we? They find him with a hex. The blink and pale. It's here, but it's not too late. He waits too long. They still find him with the searing chains. That was a bit too long by FY. Will it cost them? The mech comes in. The hand of God is here, and they'll sound the alarm and retreat out. Okay. That was a very late uh, pale. Uh -huh. He had a guaranteed impale, but just t took uh -huh. too long. Oh, Moot's got a package. Bob, looking for super. He's packing some heat. With the right clicks, they'll bring down him to start the fight. Now looking for FY as well. Open wounds. Already been used. The mech gets popped, but how still going hard? He can infest. No, it doesn't have it. Sorry, it was still was still used for that initial infest bomb. Right, but it hits how, but that's going to do a huge amount of damage. He's still got the armor, which he can toggle on. Gets disrupted to start things off here. Buyback from your Ember Spirit. He shows up with the flame guard, doing a lot of damage here. How gets sent home by the Chen. Mu gets left to hang and dry. He's going to be put up on the clothesline and fingered down. Taken out by FY with the Finger of Death. And Cost eh. them an Ember and an Ember buyback. I think Newbie are quite happy with that. Yeah, I, I think and so there's too. And no, there's no tower to take. Can Vici go Roche during this time? I don't think so. No. That's up in 20. So. I haven't really... I'm, apart from Profit, not the best Roche So much for up. Super being... Well, what's he got on the Courier? No, nothing. He's not... Super struggling. Void stone. He, was at, he had Claymore Gold, and he had like another 800 before that buyback. But I'm surprised he didn't get the drums. Like Drums is such just a good value item on Ember's... Especially for I these agree. early game fighting, but... Helps address your mana issues as well, and Ember is fairly mana dependent for a carry. It doesn't feel like he needs to be like the true carry this game. Like He can go for the phase, the drums, and just be more like that initiator type. Because Silas freaking farmed! He's got Shadow Blade, or First Oblivion coming. stuff. Like, this guy is massive right now. He's well on top of the net worth charts. Yeah, and that's a great item against the Lifestealer as well, potentially. You just silence Hal, prevent him from raging, and they have the burst damage, I think, to bring him down during that silence. He's got to have a Shadow Demon near him or be infested if he wants yep. to survive. Well, we'll see what the plan's now for Vici Gaming. They're up five kills to three. It's about a four to five K gold lead. Experience in favor of Newbie, though, so uh, by no means is this uh, a Vici Gaming favored game necessarily. They're just taking down towers while Newbie. Those money bags on the radiant side of the map are waiting for them to be taken, and suddenly you'll see Newbie actually ahead on gold if they can somehow push on out, and that's something they can do pretty fast. We talk about Chen, you want to be on the offensive, you've got to do so. This was a money bag. It's a hard nut to crack. 
But well worth it oh, when man. you do. The coins come spilling out. No stacking as of yet. Has Ember Spirit gotten a single ancient stack this game? Not nothing I doing. Arrow fishing for super. Attack. Won't connect. Okay. I'm very neither team has been particularly focused on securing their carries farm, but oh. this smoke yeah, is profit going nowhere. better at securing his own. And that's really kind of the difference right now. Newbie's smoke is just yeah, it's gonna go towards his tier one tower. They may trade tier ones for tier ones, which I guess is not bad for them. The question is, is, is Vici Gaming could get this tier two and then could come back to defend their own tier two? Oh, they could also mount defense of the tier one, though that would be very risky, but already the TP rotates top. The infest bomb is here. Smoke will end. He can firefly through the trees. But look at what he's jumping into. He's jumping into a, a blink hex impale. And he's been scattered. Ember's not here yet. Uh oh. Can't get the blink up. Then the blink hex is there. How? Will pop right out. They're going to lose FY off the back, who just panics. Tries to run away. Can't do it successfully. Now the Gale and Amu. Lasso is still available. Hasn't used it yet. Gets disrupted. In comes the Elder Titan. Giving them the right clicks. Where's that Ember Spirit? They need him now. Sight of Fist. It's enough. Hal's on the retreat out. Spirit remnant over the top. One more right click. The kill is secure. Still, though, they've only lost the Nick, the lifestealer so far, and he's going to buy back immediately. Another spirit into the fight. On the backside comes Banana. Shadow 8 haunting down Siler. They've dusted him. The Shadow Blade will only make him easier to bring down. Sunshine also retreating out. One more hammer strike. Slight of Fist coin down. Self disruption. Buying him a bit of time, and oh, they'll get the Slight of Fist. Then he keeps on running. He'll TP out from under the shadow of their tower and emerges in the end with a triple kill and Lifestealer bought back. Big fight going Vici yeah. Gaming's way. The uh, the YOLO Lion Blinkens, like as bad as it looks for FY, he was hoping that there wasn't a Lifestealer infested. It still wins in the fight. Like they they forced the, the Lion to use his rage really early on. They forced Batrider to, I mean, he gets stunned up and taken out of the fight. He doesn't get a lasso off in the end. So uh, even though Vici Gaming lose the first hero in that battle, they still win the fight because rage is put on cooldown very early on and Batrider doesn't get a lasso off. Our tongues are getting twisted today. Do you know what you just said? No. It's waiting I don't for the lion to get his rage off. The, the life stealer. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm equally complicit. Don't get oh, me wrong. It's this, just been a rough this, day. This newbie, this newbie team. They, they've messed with our. They've muddled our brains yeah. up. But yeah, they'll find the centaur here. They'll Jeez, kill off the this, Chen. This prophet's so farmed. And he can start solo killing most heroes on the map. Whoa! Not if he tanks an arrow. There is no detection here no though. Gem. Oh, they lost the gem. They'll go for Fy instead, but he connects on a two hero impale. He's got Still a left, it. left to die. Yeah. Prophet can't do too much about that. Yeah, not with life store coming in. Also, speaking of the life store, how? It's gone for Sanj. I feel yeah. you need more lockdown against Ember Spirit. Mm, and yeah. just more burst damage in general. The Saturn Yash is not bad, but. They're so good at kiting, though, anyway. Like, you get a little more move yeah. speed, you can just remnant away. I guess it's like they're so good at kiting, that's why you want the Sanj and Yasha, but. I just think they need lockdown for Ember. Yeah. Like they don't have much. They yeah. have lasso and arrow. If they can blow him up in the lasso, it's fantastic. But doing so against Sanj doesn't really help uh, you blow heroes up, though. It's like a minimal no. damage item. No, not at all. So we'll see what they can do with this one. Uh, Double damage rune does, though. <laughs> Maybe they'll find a kill with this. <laughs> he's gonna. He's. He'll get his Sanj and Yasha, then probably go for the Abyssal Blade type items. But that's uh, still a gonna long find way move. away. Searing chains are there. He'll pop them immediately, reserving the sight of face. Then the disruption comes. He'll just remnant out. Spirit back in. He's come right back into the fight. Super directly onto Howl. A little miscontrol from him. Feeds his own life away. That was avoidable. Now Silar overextending. They could lose the profit here as well, but the stomp from Xiao8 will... Oh well, no, from RTK rather, will help them retreat out. And Howl oh. looking for Fenrir. He'll find this a second gem. kill of the engagement. That's the gem down too. Sloppy, newbie, sloppy from A new Vichy lease Gaming. on life. Yeah. That was a nice stomp from by RTK. Could have been even worse, but... At least managed to get some heroes out safely. I think, like you say, just uh, miscontrol from the Ember Spirit, and I think end result is Vici Gaming with a really sloppy fight there. Venno didn't need Venno shouldn't have died and lost a gem, but because the Ember Spirit messes up and dies himself, he can't protect the Venno, and then Venno dies as well. So it was just a bit of a, a domino effect with one hero dying and then the next falling as well because of that. If we had a working team fight recap, Valve, please, then uh, yeah, we'd probably see Newbie with a big swing there. Plus the gem, not shown yeah. on the graphs, but even more of an advantage going their way. Yeah. And also means Vici will have to be very nervous about these Moonlight Shadow ganks from here on out until they can re-secure a gem. Yeah, they can pack some Sentry Wards and they've got dust on Fenrir, but I think this is where maybe they go to a bit of the old, the old, the old Rat Dota from Nature's Prophet. Silas got four, level 14, he's got Shadow Blade and Orca. Not the best Rat Dota items, but he can still easily push out lanes pretty fast on his own. He, yeah, he, he right-clicks pretty hard, even though he doesn't have much AoE and no Maelstrom, no Necrobuck for killing off towers, but it's still a lot. Yep. Good split push. Well, Roshan's the name of the game for Newbie. They're in the pit here. They've got a medallion. I think Chen had a medallion. Yeah, Chen's got medallion, but yeah, they decide it's ill-advised. 
It's pretty risky going into the pit. That's where Venomancer walks in, drops his ultimate. The Elder Titan in particular can hit three, four heroes with this combination. And if he does, you are not winning that fight. Yeah. And, like, they, their damage output's pretty lacking. Oh, they want to go on how bottom lane. The Prophet could look to TP in here with an Orchid. No, yeah. not going to go for it. Definitely a possibility. I don't, I don't know if the... Can the two of them kill him? He is quite tanky. Um, hard to say. I, I think Ember Spirit's damage output's not actually that scary. And, like, neither Prophet or Ember Spirit has burst damage. Mm, super. Not going to find an opening here. I really like the way RTK's been using his Elder Titan, though. Constantly scouting with the Spirit. It's been everywhere. In the enemy woods, in the river, in the Roche pit. Newbie are not going to get a free pass here. And not will not be allowed just to sneak in and... And, you know, pull a fast one on them, whether it's Roche or just going for a smoke gank. Well, VG Gaming are going to go for a smoke gank themselves in the Radiant Jungle. Uh, just the two heroes, FY and ROTK, they may scout ahead for for Super on the Ember Spirit and try to find a pickoff. With Finger of Death up, uh, they can kill heroes pretty damn fast with the Natural Order. Still, it's game two of our best of three. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Summit Asia. One of two of eight top Asian teams will be joining DK to represent the Asia region at our land finals live here in Los Angeles at the BTS Studio House. It'll have more of a, a Home Story Cup feel to the tournament, just a very low-key, relaxed players casting, and, well, I'd love to see a lot of these guys come here. ROTK, I think, would be a fan favorite for the Western teams, and, yeah. well, not really any anyone who stands out the same way for the Western fans on Newbie, but more just the team in general that I'd love to learn more about uh, and get to hear their insights on the game. So both of these teams, I'd say, very strong contenders to Dude, make it here. If, if Hal gets here, we could have had some like hairstyling tips from the guy. <laughs> that's like a no-brainer. Like that's the the Hal styling hair tips stretch goal right there. <laughs> yeah, you you've got you've got similar hair to Hal. You could you could go for the styles. I need mean, like and the, the, he he dyes his hair all kinds of crazy colors. Although less so lately, when he was a, a young player. But he settled down. Yeah. Kind he's, of. He's, he's uh, the closest he's ever been to becoming an old married man. <laughs> Not oh. very close at all. No, he's, he's nothing like Xiao Wei. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe maybe Xiao Wei can give Xiao him a a lesson. young married man, but hey. Um, Xiao Wei would be fun to have here in, the, here in LA. Oh yeah, absolutely. We could uh, we could get some advice on, on dating shows, you know? Yeah. We could, he could run a little seminar for all the, the folks out there. The good people <laughs> who want to just know a bit more about how to... Score the likes of Zhao Zhi. Well, we'll see. For now, newbie. Just kind of hanging back. Roche is still up, but they're just not in a great position to go into it. With RTK constantly scouting the pit with their spirit and all the lanes pushing in from the Prophet, they are not going to sneak a Roche without getting kills. Nope. And it looks like uh, Mjolnir and Dodo going to be the uh, name of the game for newbie. They picked up a Maelstrom on Mirana. Lifesteal's got a Mithril Hammer, and that could well be a... It could be a Desolator, but it could also be the another Mjolnir as well. Like, Mjolnir Lifesteal has become very common. We've seen Pycat do it earlier today, so... I don't know if double Mjolnir's that good this game, though. It's, yeah, it's not... Maelstrom's it's an okay value somewhat damage. A little though. diminishing returns there, because you can I'd only rather see him go Abyssal Blade or Desolator Oh, first. but they're going for a gank bottom. How's in trouble? The Prophet's going to come in. The Impale's well-timed. They just need to get off the Silence, and they will do so. Finger of Death Pop. How? Nothing to do. Pops his armlet. He's got a Rage coming soon. It won't matter. Great initiation from FY, and another kill secured. Yep. And You compare the Lion pick to heroes like Shadow Demon and Chen, and at this stage of the game, Lion can make plays. Chen, Shadow Demon, not so much. This life feels dead for so long. Uh, after that, he, buy, he bought back a, his last death, so this is a good minute plus that he's they on the sidelines for. And yeah, they could right. go Roche. It's going to force him to buy back again or just give up Roshan. What do you What do you think here? I feel like they need uh, more damage. I think. I don't know if they can uh, afford to just buy back again. I think they've got to just give up Roche. They can defend from the high ground. It's not ideal. It's like newbie on the back foot at this stage, uh, especially with uh, the pick off there and Roshan going down. So. Fichi Gaming working away on the Roshan here. They'll scout the high ground with a nice sprout. The Spirit's been scouting as well. No medallion for this team. It's taking a bit longer than you would like, but looks like they will get it in the end. Just no attempt at all from Newbie to contest. Newbie now looking well, like they're on the brink of dropping game two. Yeah, we could be going to that game decider, game three. Uh, we've had, I mean, Newbie took game one, I think, fairly fast and convincingly. Game two is by no means fast and convincing, but Vici Gaming is slowly getting bit by bit further and further ahead. Shall we? We'll get disrupted top and oh, that was, oh, he'll, he'll be that was okay a here. Yeah, nice disruption by Sanction. Help keeps him alive, but that's gonna be it. Hmm. So I mean, Vichy Gaming can just go for the pickup. I don't feel like they're in any rush to push down. They've taken all out of towers, but I don't even think they considered going high ground with the edge. I think more likely they look for more pickoffs. 
Uh, Lion's got Blink Four Staff. You've got the Ember Spirit. You've got the Prophet with the TP and an Orchid. They've got great pickoff potential, which is more what their lineup's built to do than actually. Push also, high they've ground. got a lot more farm. So six <laughs> yeah. K gold up on the Prophet. They can find pickoffs. They can take this late and and prosper there as well. FY's pulling a bit of a net here, just hiding around in the trees. We'll get scattered out by some Chen creeps, and that'll force him back to his own side of the map as he will get also get scattered by an Observer Ward. Twelve to nine, your score. Thirty minutes in, and. Vici in no hurry. If they want to farm, they can continue packing on the items. Scythe yeah. of Vice is available for Silar now, oh, but he's skipping it. He's going more right click. A Daedalus, I guess. Hmm. I think da Daedalus is just like always better damage than MKB unless there's evasion on your opponent's team. So I don't think there's any real reason to get MKB over Daedalus. Life Stealers sometimes will go into Heaven's Halberd yeah. if they're struggling, but I don't no, see how doing it this game. Okay. So he's got a full Daedalus now, doesn't have buyback just yet. We'll have it in a couple hundred gold. Uh, I'm yeah. a little surprised he didn't go Hex, to be honest. Yeah, it's a lot of damage output, but do they yeah. really need more damage? They already have Elder Titan and Ember. Yeah. The Lions did a great job with the Blink. Like, we saw bottom lane like just going on the lifestyle with the Blink Hex himself, so maybe they feel it's... If you get more damage, they'll have a better time. But And, and even the Hex gives them some damage. So I think it's kind of like a 50-50 thing, and I do like the Hex as well. It's a more safe route to take, I'd, I'd say. Yes. But okay. hey, VG Gaming, take a chance. Silo's more your carry type player anyway. I mean, it's Silo. So if this was RTK, I think we see a hex, but because it's Silo, it's like, I'm, I'm going DPS, guys. I'm used to carrying. Moonlight Shadow, here we go. There's and Fast Bombs Online, the There's Desolator's no been picked off. They could find RTK to start oh, this fight. No oh boy, he gets off the BKB, but still the right click's coming through. How's gonna bring him down? That needs no Elder Titan. That's a lot of their damage gone. FY also on the run. How one more right click? That's two kills for the Lifestar off the bat. Now they're gonna bring down a third. They've already lost three heroes. No BKB on the Elder Titan. He will buy back, but sound the retreat. Super. With an Aegis online, he does have a Spirit available. He'll slide a fist through. Oof. He's dropped the Searing Chains. He's gonna go down here. The Remnant. What is going on with this? It just like crawls three steps forward and yeah. now super caught out by an arrow. Can he burst anyone down? He's gonna go down. That's three heroes dead, four heroes dead with an Aegis pop as well. It could be five ROTK with a potential dieback coming soon. The Ember buys back. He does TP late. admit, but it's too late. Super hesitated. Sleight of Fist. He does find one hero, but he needs more than this to justify the double buyback. Spirit coming through, Remnant. No, he gets disrupted. How's gonna go on him again? The right clicks. Oh, will they be enough? Armlet toggly, not sufficient. He gets the kill, but he needs a bit more. Super can't rest easy yet. Silar, triple kill for him. And the chase is over. Oh, they see they see Chen. Chen's dead. There's a, oh, there no. a slight no, Prophet? there's no no, no remnant here. Prophet could TP, but there's a bat right with a blink lasso, so not gonna go for it. Oh, in comes the Ember Super! Oh Jeez. bit YOLO the mode! Feed. That was a total feed from Super! What was that? Super one of your more uh, consistent players generally, but that was... Uh, that was... Even if he gets the kill, it's a support Chen, and it's not like they're breaking the base off of that. They yeah. have two heroes dead. That is... Well, I mean, I, Elder Titan just bought back and died again, so... I don't know about that. That's as Marana as also bought back in that fight, which I did not yeah. mention initially. As not, good a fight as Nubi could have hoped for. That was they forced out a lot of buybacks there. There was two, got rid of the Aegis. The Life Stealer does go down, but has another fifteen hundred gold. In two the buybacks and an Aegis. So Elder Titan goes down. Um, Elder Titan d goes down twice. As does RTK. There was two double dieback. Yeah. The second dieback being completely like, avoidable. Uh, it was, and then they lose the Aegis and Ember Spirit as well, so uh, Ember Spirit really died three times that fight. So, I think uh, Nubia will be really happy with how that fight went. They're still behind, like, end of the day, they're still down all their outer towers, they're still kind of stuck in their own base trying to farm up items, and... Also, did Nubia have the gem, or did they get it back there? Um, it's, Either way, they've got the gem now. It's Fenrir's gem, so I think they just picked it up there, and then... Hmm. Okay. No, they didn't. No, uh, Vici Gaming did not have a gem at the start of the fight. That's an old gem because they okay. the Moonlight Shadow was used to engage, and like none of the Vici Gaming heroes had any sort of detection apart from the dust, which you're not gonna like. You can't just guess when they Moonlight Shadowed in dust. I gotta say, Super's Ember Spirit has seemed a little questionable this game. The the Remnant misplay, and then that more just none of his Ember Spirit play, but more just his decision making. It was yeah. a really unnecessary overextension, and like you said, Super generally one of the most stable mids, and not just in Asia, but in general. Yeah. Going for the like max fire remnant build, I, I normally prefer, and we see more often the stats build on Ember Spirit as well. It just gives you more damage. Yeah, it's it doesn't scale at all really. Like it's a bit more damage, but how often do you see Ember Spirits using fire remnant for damage apart from like your first gank or two when you hit level six? Sometimes you'll try stack a triple remnant for like the damage burst, but this stage of the game, fire remnant is purely for mobility. The damage is just pretty negligible. 
can Newbie turn this one around? That's the question. The Life Stealer, he does need Abyssal Blade, but if he can farm up a Basher, which he almost has, there's going to be that window to me where maybe they get a BKB on Moo around that time, although I will say Moo is quite poor this game, but they can just get a BKB on him and a, an Abyssal, a Basher on Hal. Yep. They could just assassinate Ember repeatedly in fights. Well, I'm going to push out this bottom lane, and he's got four heroes backing him up, smoked up, and he's the bait this time, but it looks like Vici Gaming nowhere nearby. They're not... Not so much they're not taking the bait, they're just not in position to even take it to begin with. And towards the mid lane they'll go, potentially looking for an initiation here. There is a rune bottom lane and no vision for Vici, so Mu will happily bottle that one up. With the gem they can try and make the jump. This could be the fight for them. If they find FY under tower, they lose the lion off the bat. Could be extremely costly. Surprisingly, they've not used the infest though. And they will back off in the end, hoping for an easier pickoff. Yep. Can't find it. No luck for them. Roshan uh, not out for another minute plus, and Newbie being on the die side, even though they're behind right now, if they uh, somehow get some map control, they could actually look to sneak it themselves, which would be a fantastic little pickup. But... And they have Desso, so it's actually a pretty fast Rosh. Yeah. Minus seven armor is nothing to sneeze at. I like the Desso pick. I didn't think we uh, we don't see enough Desso life sealers. I like it a lot better than a potential Maelstrom, because to me they just need burst damage to kill Ember yeah. during Lasso, or if he gets bashed later on. It's... And Maelstrom, not so good for that. Plus, Marana's already likely to get the Mjolnir for the team. Yep. Well, we'll see what the plan's going to be here. Prophet's still topping the farm here. Has picked up a BKB with his item set, so he's getting very close to being maxed out. What are what are Vici going to do? They're sitting back now, maybe mm. just looking to farm and, and take it later game and not feeling so confident in their ability yeah. to end it now. I think they want Super. Super's going to finish his Daedalus off with the Kriya's up there now, so this will actually give him like a good boost in his damage output. But it's, it's still, like, they can't just straight up go super aggressive. I think Vici Gaming want to push out the lanes and try to take Roshan for themselves. If they can get... Maybe find a pick off with the Blink Dagger yep. and the, the TP Hex. Double Daedalus. A lot of deeps. Yeah. But these heroes are squishy. Ember? Very squishy. No Lincolns. And uh, hasn't taken the points and stats, so a little bit less HP. They do smoke in the mid lane. Dire Observer Ward, not going to scout this out. Wait, oh, actually it might have. Mm. I think they might have just had vision of a hero. Like, right moonlight right. Shadow's being used. I think they did see it, because they Moonlight Shadow up. Uh-oh, this could be trouble. In comes the Batrider. He'll blink to the low ground, then they pop out. They thought someone was there, I guess, and they were wrong about that. Now the Impale, the Hex, everything thrown at Chowate. He'll die immediately. Now looking for Silar. He's on the run. The Lifestealer just going to work on him. How's hitting way too hard. Now gets Hexed up, though. They might be able to turn this around. How? Taking a lot of damage. The Impale's there. All oh, the crits. Great turn of events. The crits. Now Sunction on the run. RTK spirits him into submission. Moo's gonna be isolated here. He has picked off a few. He brings down another double kill for him. He soul burned the oh. triple triple kill for Sylar on the back of the soul burn, but they lose the Ember and the Prophet again, and Newbie lose all their cores as well. Both and teams lose all their cores. I mean, yeah. I guess Elder Time technically a core hero this game, but he, it's not like a true core hero. <laughs> RTK is like, well, there's only a Chen alive. I should try and push. Yeah, let's. But let's he's do an some, Elder Titan with a BKB. Let's he's, do some deeps to this tower. Let's go. <laughs> I'll clear up the creep wave. And Plus 160, man. He's hitting hard. This is actually. Not nothing to uh It's better than not yeah. hitting the enemy tier three, that's yeah. for sure. He forces a glyph! Buyback from the Prophet. Prophet's gonna even TP in with They've a buyback. They've seen Nubi have not bought back yet. Nubi do have a buyback on the life stealer and the bat rider. They'll buy back the life stealer, wow. and that's what Vici wanted. So you trade buybacks here, which I think is probably in Vici Gaming's favor, because Prophet's close to max out, life stealer needs another item or two. And Life Steel is also a single core as well. Yeah. And the Prophet is just not doing anything. Yeah, the Prophet gets uh, decent extra damage on the tower. So re I think that's a really worthwhile buyback from Prophet. I think really good play by ROTK there, doing that extra damage on the T3 tower. So just a Chen, and well, as you said, you can't do anything as a Chen to defend that. They do have insane damage output, though. That was the first thing I was thinking when I looked at Vici is the deeps. The deeps. Yeah. They really I, have them. I thought Nubia were going to do but They didn't kill the Lion. I think they needed to do more to the Lion there. Lion was leading the charge into a Moonlight Shadowed Nubie team, and he did not get punished well, for what, it. The, the fight started with Batrider, like, blinking to the low ground. Life yeah. popped out. I, I, I think you could have just lassoed the Lion there. Like, yeah. kill this This Lion does a lot of damage and disable. His Hex he, ended up killing the Life Stealer. Life Stealer yeah. died because of a Hex plus Profit right click. He Hexed the Life Stealer. He also got off a, a two hero Impale at the beginning of the fight, and yeah. then he got off another finger. single. He impaled into a finger on. and got like the first kill of the fight. Yeah, so the Marana died instantly. I think if you if you just lasso and kill the lion, I think Newbie win that fight. I'm really I think Moo just was like, it's a lion and support here. I've got to go for the Ember. I think he's just in this mindset where I've got to find the Ember Spirit. But, but Ember Spirit just so much more difficult to lock down on the fight.
fights and yeah. You just press press a button, escape. As scary as the Prophet and the Ember Spirit are with their deeps, the end of the day they're not getting the kills without the lockdown that the Lion provides. Especially the the, the Prophet. The Ember Spirit maybe gets some kills with a with the crit RNG and the slider fist, but Prophet needs the lockdown of the Lion. Well, it will be on Saw Curse next for Hal. Despite the buyback, he has done a nice job of keeping up in terms of farm. 1,600 golds there, working his way towards an Assault Caress, and nobody took Roche off of that last bloody engagement. They'll smoke up mm. now, and they do it in the Ancients. Out of vision, now the Infest. They'll look for a maneuver through the bottom side of the map. Meanwhile, Vici Gaming scouting the Roche pit. Having not seen anyone there, see nobody from Newbie on the map. They... They're going to be expecting something. Yeah, they should have a good idea that Newbie's nearby the Roshan pit, somewhere probably smoked up. The Astral Spirit doesn't scout anything at all, and I think they need, yeah, this T1 mid tower is a good place to kind of position yourselves and just, you want to constantly scout. Put Plague Wards is everywhere. They're scouting out Astro Spirits into their own jungle with a pretty good idea that something fishy is going on. Uh-oh, something wicked this way comes. Vici are going to contest this Roshan. They've got the Spirit there. It's given them some vision to start off. Now they find Banana on the backside. Immediately the Chen's going to go down to start this fight. Can maybe buy back Hand of God as well. They'll pull Siler into the pit. Roche dropping low. They might allow him to steal this Aegis. He goes down too quickly. The last hit goes Ooh. to the way of the Radiant, but they managed to snatch the Aegis for Hao. Barely not the fight a bit. Still the Ember's looking good. Hao's going to die once, and he may well die again if there's a Hex. He's toast. Is there a disruption available? It has cooled down. They're going to need it here. He can rage. No, he gets hexed up. Where's that disruption from Sangshan? He will get it off. No lasso, though. And a two here on Pale. Once again, FY, what a hero. Does it find the initiation? They force RTK to retreat out. But Aegis has been popped. The last hit on the Roche went the way of Vici. They're feeling good about this fight so far. Hand of Midas is in the middle of the freaking pit. They really wanted that Aegis. <laughs> it's still there. How looking to pick it up. He will return the Aegis. Oh, slide of fist Midas. on the disruption. Oh, how survives? 2 Armor HP! Toggle. Armor toggle, he's gonna oh. toggle back on! He can kill off RTK here! RTK is gonna go down! Four heroes dead! Five heroes dead! Newbie, how the hell did they pull that fight out? What in the world? They were playing with fire that game, lassoing a hero into the Roshan pit as Roshan was about- There was a hero on top of the Roshan as Roshan died! Vici was... got the last hit on Roche too! Like, I don't know if it was the Prophet, but somebody on their team last hit it. I think it was maybe the Slider Fist, but they were like trying to feed Prophet the Aegis there by dropping him on top of Roshan <laughs> as Roshan... Like, the lasso wore that off as Roshan died. That was very debatable. That was very Oh, I was... Oh, man, I was sweating there, worrying like, Newbie, guys, come on. You can't be putting Prophet there when Roshan's about to die. If he takes that Aegis, it's all over for Newbie. But they somehow end up getting the Aegis for themselves. Vici get the goal, but that's not the important thing. And Newbie get a team wipe out of it as well. Nice defensive disruption there by Sangshan as well. Keeps Hao alive, waited patiently. FY again with great lockdown in these fights, and he stays alive for ages, but... End of the day, it's only one hero with proper crowd control against Lifestealer, and that has caused them a lot of problems in these yep. engages. And blimey, Lifestealer's found an Assault Caress! So <laughs> he's, he's a tower wrecking machine! He's got minus 12 armor on buildings. That is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, he's, he's a really scary force this game. What a game! Well, things are heating up here on the Summit Asia. Yeah, I mean, you, you ex we're expecting winner bracket semifinals, and this is these is two teams who I'd say are very evenly matched. Vici Gaming Silar are being a good will be caught out top lane, oh, and the, the back comes in. Here's oh, your infest man, bomb. Nice. Silar, no buyback for a minute. They won't be able to do anything huge off of this, but just another death yeah. for him. Another out of tower. Maybe they get a T2 or something, and even just getting a T2 tower, like, they haven't taken many of these towers. Just get some extra gold in their pockets, get Batrider to... Oh, he's got already got his BKB. Like, all these heroes can just do with an extra round. Chen's almost gonna side the vice! Uh -oh. Banana's filthy Song rich! Shang, he does find Demonic Purge. Did he just purge a creep? Oh, no, it did hit FY. No, it's okay, last year. Now, RTK gets last, so that's the big target to isolate. And look at him melt to the right click! They're not done. Minus 12 armor. They'll find Fenrir as well. There's no buyback on the Elder Titan. Doesn't have the gold for it. Fenrir pops oh, the no. Ghost Scepter. Pops the ult. Vici Gaming are self-destructing against Newbie. Three heroes dead. FY in a frantic retreat. Uh, Sound the alarm. At least a tier 2 tower, possibly... I think more? it's more if they don't have buybacks here. Profit, Profit 10 seconds. Has it in 10 seconds. Like, what's... Profit's he not can't the... threaten anything. All the other lanes are pushed in, and they might lose the Ember here as well. No, he will be okay. he will be okay. I don't think... Going high ground against Ember Spirit always a big challenge, but... Hey, there's, if they can force buybacks, it's good for newbie. There's no Elder Titan, so the Ember defense not nearly as strong without the minus armor from yeah. Natural Order. Hal just says, I'll just take your tower. All that minus armor there's we're no talking cliff. about. This is going to be Rax. Vici Gaming, yeah. Profit can buy back, but to what avail? What? Arrow coming through, almost catches Super as he returns to his original Remnant, and yep. all of a sudden, newbie, it's the Batrider initiations turning this game for them. They found the openings here. A lane of Rax done now. They do need to make the retreat, the Lion. They were Link down almost 10k gold at one point, and suddenly Newbie just bounced back and... Against 
Elder Titan, Ember, and the six slotted Prophet. That is insane late game damage, yeah. but just not enough. Vici Gaming's execution just a little off. I, I think I, Nubia have played well. They've taken advantage of the Vici Gaming mistakes and misplays, but uh, Vici Gaming were definitely the ones in control of this game, in control of their own fate in game two at least. A 2-0 sweep over Vici would be quite the statement walking into the winner's bracket yeah. finals from Nubi. Oh. Hey man, DT Club, they've made the biggest they've made the biggest statement in this tournament though. <laughs> to be fair, I would say their opponent in the semifinals, LGD, yeah. not not very impressive compared to the likes yeah. of IG. They are not newbie and Vici yeah. lately. I mean they took out IG and that was like a strug kind of struggling IG. With that said, DT did take a game of DK last night in the WPC tournament, so I don't think we can just at this point you can't just say, Oh, it was a one off it was a one off thing for DT. They've They've take, won big games con consistently. Yeah. They're almost like up there. I mean, with I think the tier I think teams. pretty much all of us had them pegged as the second place team in the Asia qualifier. But after beating LGD yeah. for TI four qualifiers, they may be first. Yeah, and when we were seeing uh, HGT play earlier, like I honestly HGT look better than LGD as well. I think LGD may struggle to get first or second in the Chinese qualifier. The one thing they have going for them is their experience and all the veterans on their team. But their actual DT like, has some experience too. Maybe not as much on the yeah. big stage, but yeah. a lot of these players, they've been around since the Rising Star days and even I mean, before that in Dota 1. And we talk experience, you're talking ZSMJ. Like, this guy, he can More experience than most teams combined. Yeah, so I think LGD are going to have their work cut out for them in the TI4 qualifiers, but... I agree. These that, two that teams to don't have gonna... to worry about the TI4 qualifiers. Yes, Vici, Nubi, are a little more comfortable, though. Just getting to t the big dance is not enough for any of these players, really, who've tasted the sweet fruit, sweet nectar of, of high finish at past events and yep. won't settle for anything less, I imagine, than top three. That seems to be kind of the sweet spot for most teams. Where like, if we can finish top three, we're pretty happy with it. If we win, obviously, that's good. Yeah. Well, Heart on the life star. This guy is god. 4,000 health, 32 armor. How do you kill the freaking beast? Gosh, yeah, all of a sudden, like he was... An Elder Titan? Not very effective against this much plus armor. He has plus 20 armor and only 12 base, so... Yeah, also helps out his team with the Assault Chris armor aura, so... Just any, yeah. Every little bit helps. I like helps. This, this itemization, and yeah. here comes the Infest Bump. Also, they have BKB on Moot, and he's up to 4,500 gold. We could see the, the legendary Refresher Bat, potentially, <laughs> the double lasso. <laughs> Mm. Ember ain't getting out of that. I think Shivas is going to be... Shivas can, is pretty yeah. safe. Hex isn't bad. Uh, you can also just save for buyback. What has he bought? He's bought a Mystic Star. Shivas. So, probably Shivas. Uh, yeah, he's actually going to buy the full Shivas. Shivas is... Yeah, it's not that great against Ember. Yeah, the minus attack speed, it's, not very relevant. The armor itself helps a little That's bit. True. But, yeah, it's it, just I a agree. good chasing item to help the Lifestealer no. run heroes down as well. No. Oh, they might find FY here. He manages to... Just seclude himself in the tree line, but to what avail? They're not going to be able to kill oh, Shao. This is bait. This oh, is big dear. bait. And they've taken the bait. Suddenly they realize something's not right here. There's a blink in initiation. FY on the retreat out. Drops the finger of death. It's not enough. Super. He's the one who can't die. That they lose him instantly. He just explodes. And how also cleans oh. up FY. It feels like it's all over oh, Red no. Rover here. Newbie yeah. are just overrunning Beachy. Straight down the bottom lane. They've got mid Raxes. They're going to get the tier 2 bottom and possibly try to go high ground. Ember Spirit does have buyback. Lion does not... Lion may be respawning in 40 seconds, so by that time at least the tier 3 tower would be down if uh, Newbie go all in for this one, so... Here we go. Already one lane of racks up, and in terms of the buyback situation, we'll quickly review it now. Elder Titan and Ember have it on the Radiant, and, well, your Lifestealer, Moran, and Shadow Demon have it on the Dire. This is going to be tough to defend. Yep. Oh. Very difficult. How gets to work. Tier 3 tower at his Ember Spirit's going to buy back for this one. He's got to buy back. If you lose two sets of racks, it's all over. He cancels the TP. They need the Lion for this, though. Yeah. They really can't defend without a Hex. Oh, they've so got the off the off. bat has isolated Super. If he dies again, he's got no buyback. He'll have nowhere to go. He's almost dead. One more right click. They brought him down. No Ember Spirit for this fight. The Prophet is still alive. Respawning soon as the Lion. But how? Tanking up. Furiously trying to live through this. He gets off one more right click. Defensively disrupted. They've kept him alive. He armed with Tugos. He goes back in. They just can't kill him. This Lifesteal is an absolute monster. Now on to FY. It's GG. They've called it. <laughs> and BG Gaming smacked down to the lower bracket by a ruthless yeah. newbie performance here today. That was something here. Newbie making, like you say, a big statement. They are going to be our other winner bracket finalists, taking on DT Club in the next round, and Vici Gaming, they've been good, they've been consistent, but 
They just didn't have that flair or pizzazz about them here against Newbie. I, I feel like they played well, but they just didn't play as, as well as you need to against a top tier one Chinese team. FY played very well, I would say for me, MVP for Vici. I felt yeah. Silar and Super were pretty questionable a with some of their... Getting... Especially Super's Ember Spirit. Yeah, that was Super's sketchy. Ember was super questionable, and then... <laughs> You see what I did there? Uh, that was not intentional. But uh, Silar also got picked off a few times, and you died didn't have buyback, gave them a minute to push in the lane, so when they did win a fight and went down mid, there was no split push trade available. Bit underwhelming. Vici yeah. failing to impress here, but newbie. Uh, they've got to be the favorites right now to take it. with the, Just the advantage they'll have being in the winner's bracket. DT have looked good, but yeah. I don't... I don't I would not favor them against Newbie. Right I'm now. impressed that like they turn that game around because very rarely will you see a Chen turn around like a, a 10k gold deficit. Like I think if there was like something like you get some stats on that, it would be like a five percent chance that a Chen can turn around, like less than five percent that a Chen can win a game down 10k gold. It just doesn't happen. Chen is not a hero yes. built to turn around gold deficits like that. It's the hero just does not scale at all. The one thing um, you always have is the defensive sendback. Yeah. But you don't have any lockdown, any yeah. real gank potential. I mean, until you farm a hex. Yeah. <laughs> how and how and Moo with the Batrider lifestyle combo was uh, the, the driving force. And end of the day, like they turned the game around and it wasn't too much because of the Chen. Chen actually farmed a hex by the end. That was probably his biggest contribution in those team fights. The how and Moo. Well, we've seen what they can do when they're yeah. teamed up together. And that was the most for me the most exciting thing about Newbie was getting How and Moo back on the same team. Because it was nah, it, it was out. like, you know, Two brothers just cast asunder, and now they're reunited. With that being said, guys, Summit Asia action is over for today. I believe yeah. we'll have a WPC stream coming up soon uh, on this channel. Is that correct? On this channel. Okay. So you can starts um, in like an hour's time, maybe. It starts in an hour. Less uh, than an hour, 40 okay. minutes. So. But before we get to that, we want to take a look at the brackets here. Let's see how we're doing. So our upper okay. bracket, grand or uh, winner's bracket finals is set now. DT Club and Newbie. Winner of this is one best of five away from a ticket or a trip to Los Angeles, yeah. where they will be competing for six digits in prize pool, over $100,000. And as for the loser bracket, the team's knocked out so far, I believe, is Titan and New Element. Um, no some, surprises there, I guess. So, so who are we going to... Vici versus Heartskit or uh, Hyper Glory team. Who do you who do you favor? In Vici that? gaming Vici for kind sure. Of the obvious choice. But HGT they they played in the WVW Grand Finals and HGT won that two one. But I I still definitely give Vici gaming like a seventy percent favorite. This is a bit there. of a bigger match. Not to say that Vici wasn't taking the WVW tournament yeah. seriously, but it was like a ten thousand dollar online only tournament. Rescheduled the final format was changed fairly last minute to best of five. Then it was actually best of three. So uh, it was a bit of a schizophrenic event in the end. But this is wrong. Okay, so it should be Vici versus IG then. Oh, Ooh, okay. Geez, that's... The, th okay. the plot thickens. Yeah. All right, so uh, K-pop, uh, we'll fix our overlay here in a second. Okay, but... uh, that's, that makes okay so that makes LGD versus Hyper Glory Team. Now, that's a match I think Hyper Glory Team yeah. could take. That's like your, your TI4 qualifiers kind of preview, and I would, I would give a small edge to HGT. And then IG versus Vici. IG has frankly looked beleaguered recently. They have been very yeah. weak. They showed some signs of life. They actually played just last night in WPC and it was a 1-1 one -one draw, so... Against who? Uh, against each other. They played... I was the... Oh, I, you're yeah. right. We watched one of those... That's the worst part about that format. It's like, you won't have a winner, but... Yeah. So, it's 1-1. One -one. So, it, well, well, that's why the Summit Age is good. So, these teams just played and we're going to get a proper best of three. We'll have a winner... We'll have a team knocked out of the Summon Asia and one Not team... Not everybody is a winner. That is baloney. That's... Somebody's that's a loser. loser talk. We'll yep. see who the loser is very soon. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, guys, that is going to wrap up today's coverage of the Summit Asia. VODs will be available soon at youtube.com slash beyondthesummittv. Of course, you can follow myself, twitter.com slash LDDota, gods, twitter.com slash btsgods, and kpoptosis, who has been deprived of his toys but should be back in full force very soon, twitter.com slash kpoptosis. He, he brought LD water during the cast, so you should follow him on Twitter just because of that. And he brought me water. He brought me Red Bull. Life is pretty good. Thank yeah. you, Brian. And, Indentured uh, servitude. He, has he hasn't brought me a better mouse pad yet. Yeah, that's a great mouse pad. It's functional. That's Hash, what yeah, this is this is where the uh, all the dirty esports sellers go to. <laughs> uh, we, we need to run a Kickstarter here to get some new mouse pads for the <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Guys, thanks for watching the Summit Asia. Of course, powered by Twitch. And well, if you haven't already bought the bundle, do consider it. All the money uh, will help to, to go towards the prize pool. Two fifty from every ten dollar purchase. You also get an awesome access. But with that being said, we're done for today for the Summit Asia. We come back tomorrow for a lot of Summit America action, though. We've got seven best of ones. Yep. Merlini, Zayori will be bringing you the coverage of those. Maybe we'll cast a handful as well. And uh, with that being said, from all of us here at Beyond the Summit, thanks for watching. Have a good night. We'll see you later.